throwing a party like this. And let's have a mean party for the yeah! It was always on our bucket list, but we wanted to take it a step further with no money and a lot of strangers. And here is what we need. Venue, drinks, music, people and the course. Alright, so we've been going back and forth with um, the venue managers of White and Wong's and I think we've pretty much secured the venue so we're basically just going to have a quick look at the venue, look at the space and I guess just get a feel for it and just check it out. Yeah? Oh, this is the venue. I think we're gonna. This this is like rooftop. We're gonna have the DJ probably here. We clear all the tables and capacity around here's like 100, 150 bars right behind us. And then if it gets bigger than 100, 150, then we can open the restaurant and um, yeah, just hold like 300 people. So beautiful, beautiful venue. Hey, um, this may be the strangest thing that you're gonna hear all week. Um, I'm Alex, I'm from the Go Code. I've sent you an Instagram message. Um, and we're basically, the way we're doing that is celebrate. And next month we're celebrating a number of milestones and birthdays and we're bringing together the people that we care about and we're getting them to bring the people they care about and we're just involving a whole lot of amazing people to celebrate good things. And the missing piece right now is what you guys do and that's bringing the good times to life. And I was just wondering if you wanted to be part of this in some form or another, give us advice, uh, whatever you guys can do. I think we got a package. A package? Yeah, should we check? Uh -huh. Yeah! Oh, no way! This is stolen rum. Okay, um, James just told me he needs to call me for something about the party. Um, so yeah, he's about to call. Yo. What's up bro, how are you doing? I'm good. So apparently you've got some news for us about the party next week? Yeah bro, I got a little up to date on the DJs. So, my first DJ is Kane booked in, she's booked in from 10 to 11. Yeah. We've got another one lined up for later in the night, so probably after midnight. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. There's actually two of them, so it's going to be like a, a, a duo. A duo. Oh, me. Um, both DJ and so I just need to confirm with them what time they're willing to play. But yeah. they're, they're playing, we just need to know what time. All right, man. All right. Thanks for the update, brother. All right. Bye. Three, two, Bye, one, man. cut. Um, we are throwing a party based on acts of kindness. We secured like a, a venue mm -hmm. for Saturday night. We've got a whole lot of alcohol from the New Zealand alcohol company and we also got a bunch of DJs. Yeah. So first couple of drinks are on us, there's DJs, it's a big party. It's, we've booked out the whole venue. Mm -hmm. They gave it to us for free, so yeah, super, super random, but we yeah. want to involve some students. So. Oh, good, thank you so much. So, yeah, hope you see it. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Sweet, You're welcome. Bye. See ya. Okay, so we're outside of um, like an appreciation night for Star Jam, who's a sponsor of our event. Well, not the sponsor, the, the charity that we're, that we're backing. And we had a conversation with them this week, and they're gonna back us, and we're gonna come to their event, meet them properly, and sort of work out the finer details. And um, yeah, let's do it. Okay. So after a month of planning, we finally had a venue, we finally had music, we finally had people, we had the drinks and we had a good course. So we decided to back up Star Jam.
Stargem is a charity that supports people with disabilities in New Zealand to pursue their dreams and potential in music. Everything was planned and everything was good to go. But suddenly, one week before our event... What's happening? All right, uh, we're, not, we're like our venue... Uh, our party's on Saturday. We had a, a DJ pull out last week and we didn't secure another one. Then another DJ just pulled out. So now we're back to two DJs and we don't even have a week to go. So you probably saw me like completely freak out because two DJs pulled out in the matter of a w one week. And C, who's our friend, and also Hi, our flatmate. Hello. <laughs> she may have sorted us two DJs um, covering pretty much the rest of the night. So we're about to video call them, have a chat with them and see if they're keen. This is, this is Gareth. Hello, Gareth. How are we doing? Nice to meet you. Pretty good. Love you too. Hey guys. Hey, hi. Cool. Thank you so much. Like, you know, I was even talking to my mum about it like the other day and she was like, oh, like, I've, I've heard about this. It's amazing. Like, it's like music therapy for like people with disabilities and things. And I was just like, that's it's just, it's just so cool, you know? Uh, yeah. Like, you know, music is our life. So of course we would get behind that. Yeah, it's awesome. Mate. Everything just lines up so well. So, yeah. Yeah. No, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be really cool. Okay, good night, guys. Yeah, see you, you Saturday. See you yeah. Saturday. Yeah. yeah, all right. Bye. And now, with two more DJs, everything was ready for the big night. Tonight, 
Let them come in over We can play these selfish games Your mind is growing colder At the thought of losing me 